Oh, hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, I really fancied um, doing a build and uh, I decided to just go with my imagination and this is called a cartoon pop. I guess you could call it a festival or like a pop-up or something like that. To be completely honest, I don't really know what it was. I completely winged it. Um, it's kind of inspired by, like if you've listened to all my voiceovers or some of them, you might know that I've been going on and on and on about going to Japan, which I was going to be going there this year, but uh, that's not happening. But I am still going, it's just being pushed back one year. So 2022 we're going to Japan. But still, you know, it's a bit disheartening because it is the one place I really want to go. So this build is slightly inspired by um, Japan. I mean, it doesn't look, it didn't come across that way, I don't think. I don't think it looks like a particularly Japanese build. Certainly not like a classical Japanese build at all. But it was kind of inspired by the whole, um, I guess, kawaii theme. Like, there is a lot of pink in this build. I just kind of wanted to make somewhere that was like a little bit geeky, um, a little bit like something that reminded me of like manga, like a cartoon sort of festival where I imagine like young people would go, maybe they'd get some ice cream. There's like a, a few things to do on this, um, on this lot. After I built it, I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll put this on the gallery. And then I realised I can't really because... I have selfishly used a hideous amount of custom content in this build, so I don't know if there's really going to be much point because most of it will all disappear. So I guess the whole point of this video is just for, <laughs> just for you to watch <laughs> and um, do nothing with. So enjoy that, have fun. But maybe, you know, maybe it could be some inspiration for you guys, if you want to do a little build like this, I don't know. But it's basically, uh, the idea is it's a park and it's split up into sections. And the whole festival is kind of dedicated to family fun, I guess. So um, what I've just built there in the corner is meant to be like a little ice cream shack. Um, where you can just go in and, you guessed it, grab some ice cream. And then um, this bit right here, it took me a long time looking through um, the catalogue, but I ended up making like a little food corner. And I always find whenever I'm going through the catalogue, especially if I've got it on like debug or something, because the catalogue is so massive, I just end up pulling out various things that I see and think, oh, that would look okay. And so all I end up with is just a massive lot full of loads of crap that I then have to find somewhere to put it. But that's okay. So at this point, um, this is my thought process, is just pull out as much shit and then decide eventually what I'm going to do with it. Um, I was quite happy with how it turned out in the end. It ends up having lots of little sections, like at the back where that um, food stand is. I'm going to move that in a sec and that ends up being like um, an arcade, which is all custom content. But it's pretty cool. I quite like the how it turned out even if I say so myself. The only thing I wasn't happy with, which you'll see as the video goes along, is the um, the centerpiece. Uh, I've put like a centerpiece, which is that like octopus looking thing in the middle. And after I made it, I just kind of thought it didn't really, didn't really look right, but hey ho, never mind, never mind. I was also partially inspired to um, build this because I watched the video um, that the Nintendo creator made where he um, did like a little tour of uh, the new Nintendo world and it looks really good. I'm quite excited to, uh, to go there and we are going to go there eventually next year <laughs> but um, yeah it looks really good. And I kind of figured, you know, maybe it isn't such a bad thing that we have to wait to go because by the time we go, it would have been open for a while. And so like the teething problems would be sorted because I kind of feel like you always get teething problems with like new attractions and things. And also when I watched the video, I noticed that there was no sign of peach, which is odd because, you know, as we all know, peach is the best Nintendo character that there is. So... Hopefully in a year's time, maybe Peach will make an appearance and it will all be worth it. 
but that'll be um, that'll be next year. And for this year, one of the things I'm excited about, which I think when I tell you will really highlight um, the amount of stuff I've got going on in my life at the moment, the fact that this is a genuine highlight for me, is um, I'm really looking forward to the release of The Wolf Among Us 2. Apparently it's coming out this year. I hope it is. Um, I say apparently because if you're not like following it or aware of it, it, um, it was supposed to be coming out. I think it was last year. Um, I'm not going to pretend to know the ins and outs, but I know that, um, it was like in the middle of being produced, uh, when the company was bought out. And so there was like uncertainty as to whether it was even going to be made. So I'm just grateful that <laughs> it's been given the go ahead to be made. If you don't know what The Wolf Among Us is, it's um, it's a game, I know right, talking about a game other than The Sims 4, controversial, but it is actually a really good game, it's one of my favourites. It's um, It isn't like The Sims at all, like it's not a sandbox game or anything like that, it's um, like a story based game where you play as the main character who um, is like, a, he's a bit you know, rough around the edges, but he's a good guy deep down. And uh, you basically go around um, making decisions and then the outcome of your story, I guess, is based on the decisions that you make. So it's like a, yeah, a decision, a decision-based game. I don't know why I made that sound so complicated. Um, but it's, uh, without giving too much away, if you're a fan of, like, Disney and stuff like that, then you might like it because, although I say that, it's not for children, definitely not. There's like bad language and violence and all of that. It's, you know, an adult game. But the uh, the main premise of the game is that it's set in this um, city that's like a little bit run down, crime rates are high, and it's like, I think it's called Fable Town. And the people that live there are fairy tale characters who, uh, apologies if I get this wrong and you do know the game I'm talking about, my memory's just failing me, but I think they were like banished or like sent away from their fairy tale world where they're actually from and they have to live in this shithole called Fable Town where all this like bad stuff happens and stuff like that. So you see some like... Um, familiar characters in the game, like Snow White is in the game, the Big Bad Wolf, um, Beauty and the Beast, the Little Mermaid. Some of them have their actual names, some of them have other names, but um, it's uh, it's really cool. I think it's such a brilliant game. It's basically like an adult, um, I mean, I wouldn't say gangster game, but there's a lot of fighting and stuff like that, um, and a lot of, you know weird stuff that goes on, like, you know, they have strip clubs and things like that, so it's that kind of tone, you know, fighting and stuff, um, but it's with your favourite Disney characters, so, you know, what more could you ask for, really? I think it's brilliant. So if you're over 18, I think it's an 18, I would uh, recommend it, because um, the first game is out, The Wolf Among Us, it's been out for years, and it's brilliant. I, lit I enjoyed every minute that I played that game. It's one of the best games I've played in a very long time. And um, so, yeah, the second one is meant to be coming out this year. So I'm counting down the days. And I'm thinking, even though this is a Sims channel, I'm not sure whether to start another channel or mm, prob I probably won't. But I 100% am going to play it as soon as it comes out. And so I'm thinking maybe I'll do um, a Let's Play of it. So let me know in the comments if you want me to. I'm guessing some of you, I'm guessing at least some of you have heard of this game and um, have played it or something. So if you'd like to see a Let's Play of The Wolf Among Us 2 when it comes out, then uh, let me know and I'll do it and I'll enjoy it. Anyway, I should probably wrap this video up now because I've been rambling on for quite a while. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Maybe like the video, subscribe if you want, I don't know, go crazy. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.